Garden stand. It's the 9th of August and I haven't been doing any videos for a few weeks because I actually went away and yesterday I was really really tired. I still look tired look but um, I'm back on form today. So it's the 9th of August. The weather is amazing today and I want to show you my courgettes. I've gone a bit ballistic so my partner didn't pick anything because he didn't know what to do so he's just basically watered things but apparently it rained quite a lot while I was away so that was pretty good so he didn't really have to water the courgettes and stuff outside just drinking my coffee cheers I've literally just let the chickens out there we go so that lot there <laughs> making all the racket so they're allowed out today letting them out today because yesterday the other lot came out um, these like coming out though so anyway if they don't come out this lot within the next half an hour or so I will let the, love, the other lot out first and let these ones out later but we'll see see if they come out within the next half an hour but if they don't I will do it the other way around anyway Beautiful day, I have lots to do. Of course, yes. This should be fun. Okay, let's turn the camera around so you can see them. And we'll just walk over to the courgette area. I want to see how mental this patch has gone. I've got these shoes on that are not waterproof. I'm going to get wet feet. <laughs> of all the dew that's on the grass. Oh, I'm going to get wet feet now. Ah, yuck. Anyway, let's have a look over here. So I glanced over here yesterday, but I just need to cut around these edges. Look at all the edges has all grown. I need to trim that up today. Take these dock leaves out of this bed. I've got four more baby boo plants. They're going to have to go in here, and they're going to have to go in here today because they're getting much too big for the pots. But look at this mentalness that's going on in here. And here so I've just discovered that when I put in these plants because you're supposed to face them around the right way so the growing lead is facing where you want it to go which is up here but it's over there and I can't twist it yet it's too short so once some of these start growing I can train them to go up this arch because that's the whole point of it and over here there's one there so what I'm going to do is train them to go up the arch now. So I want to show you the produce on them now. It's amazing. Look at these. And all of the um, Jappy Littles over here. I spotted one yesterday growing. So yeah, there's four Jappy Little plants in here. Look how big they're getting. So I think my first job today is just to come over here quickly and just tidy up this bed area and train in some of these courgettes squashes look there's the first chappy little yeah, they're quite nice plants so look they're trying to grow so i'm going to train these oh there's another one there see that another one yeah i hope they're chappy little it doesn't really matter whatever they are they're pumpkins that's it but these are little pumpkins 
Over here we have some butternut squash. I think I can take this one now. Look at this one. There, look at that. Look how big that is. Look how big that one is. So they're growing. There's quite a few in here. Look, this one's been nibbled. We don't mind giving out some for the birds. <coughs> or little mice. They're all growing over here now. But it doesn't really matter. Another butternut squash there. I think there is... I think I saw another one here. Yeah, another one there. Well, I think there's probably loads, but I want to show you the course yet. Oh, there's another one there. Another one down there. Uh, I've never grown these before. Look at this going over here. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. They can grow wherever they like. But I want to show you these. Are you ready for this? Uh, in here. We have some gigantic pump. Oh, these squat these courgettes. They're not even the biggest ones. I'm going to cut them up. Look at this. Look at this. This. This is. This is huge. We need to take that off. Oh my god, they're so big. I don't really like them that big. <sighs> but let's just show you how big they grow. Don't cut them when they're little. This is only a week's growth, by the way. The size of this. Uh, there's another one. They're huge. They're absolutely gigantic. They're all growing absolutely massive. I can't get over them. Look. So, today is courgette harvesting day. And then I'm going to have to do quite a few videos of what to do with courgettes. Um, I'm going to cut a load up, obviously. You can make soup and stuff them. And Look at them, look. Look at that one. How big that is. Yeah, so they are a bit big. So I'm going to take them today, take them off. Massive. Anyway, I just want to show you that. Over here, there are some other pumpkins forming I don't know what ones these are but they're forming I think some of them are butternut squash see them ones over there spaghetti squash this is a butternut squash here and here I think anyway it doesn't matter what they are they're squashes and pumpkins and I growing them and we're going to eat them and that's it so if we eat those for the rest of time that's what we'll be eating. Anyway, my three trees, I said to Simon, we must get these in the ground this weekend. We have got to put them over there. Over there. Because those trees that we're going to have to take out at some point. But these three trees need to be replaced. Anyway, so my potatoes are looking good, look. They've got flowers on now. But we're just leaving these in the ground for as long as we possibly can want them to cure you know we don't want to take these out not like the other potatoes which I haven't ate them all yet because I haven't been here um, these are the King Edwards I can't see the rest of the leaves I think I might have killed them off when I kept putting mulch on them I can't see any more leaves growing but anyway whatever there are some there is supposed to be some plants in there but I can't see the leaves Anyway, I don't know what I've done there. So we'll just leave those and see what happens. I think we'll have enough potatoes anyway. Oh, well, now I've got soaking wet feet. Never mind, cool me down. So now I'm going to just take you to the polytunnel so you can see what's going on. We're getting loads of rubbish here because we're actually... He's dug up all the patio. I will do a separate video the update of what is going on here so much we're doing we've got loads of scaffolding up at the moment um, and I will show you a tour of the building okay in a second see in this pot so I put a sage and a thyme in here and then some of the marigold seeds that I've already harvested into here and they're already growing again they love it I'll just put them ones down but they're all growing back again 
So marigold seeds are really, really versatile. They're really good for warding off pests in the garden. Um, they're great companion planting. And you can make stuff with them, like balm and stuff like that. I've actually got a load of lemon balm here. So I'm actually going to uh, harvest a load of that. It's getting rather big now, I've noticed. Look. And this will just get into a huge, huge bush. So I'm going to harvest some of this lemon balm today. This lemon balm here. And that equally you can make into a balm. Or you can tie it together and put it in your bath. And just make some nice... i done that the other day. I tied some together uh, with a sort of elastic, you know, hair scrunchy thing. And then I just left it in the bath while I was having a bath. As long as the leaves don't all grow everywhere. But it doesn't really matter if they do. And then just put a bit of oil in your bath. Or you can make a lemon balm oil. You could put infuse the lemon balm into some oil as well. Uh, it doesn't need to be any specific oil. If you want to use um, like sunflower oil or something like that. Or um, olive oil or just sweet almond oil. Or any oil that you've got. You don't have to have a Pacific oil. The infusion is what's going to be good for you. Anyway, I just noticed my cucumber here trying to attack me with these prickly leaves. Look at all these cucumbers growing on this one cucumber plant. There's loads on this one. Now, yeah, I did take off the little, you know, like the sickly ones. And now they're all growing. You have to feed these a lot. Like... I've been feeding these. There's already um, blood, fish and bone in the soil when I planted them. But I'm also giving them additional seaweed feeds or stinging nettle tea feeds every week as well. So on Mondays I feed everything. Monday or Tuesday I feed everything that needs a good feed. So these are the um, beans need feeding right now. Uh, I was feeding the peas, but I think these peas are done. So I think what I'm going to do now is this borage is looking a bit tired now. So I'm going to cut that right down. I need some borage seeds though. I might let this one go to seed. I know it looks scruffy. Oh, 